Another baseball season is right around the corner. So what's the most important ingredient for a winner? As one team showed us, it might not be talent or experience or even luck, but belief. That's right, belief. David McCoy has their story. Hi, guys, bring it in. When you're looking ahead to the upcoming season, sometimes the best thing you can do to prepare is look back into the past. Get the out you're supposed to get, throw the ball across the plate, play with some enthusiasm and purpose. Here we go. For most of last season, One, two, three. Henry Sibley was awful. With two games left in the regular season, the Warriors were a very un warrior esque 4 and 14. After that last game, our coach pulled this aside and he said, you know what, you guys can either give up um, or you can go out and make the most of what we can still do. I believe in you guys and I know you guys believe in yourselves and we can make something magical happen. Obviously, we wanted to make something magical happen, so we chose the latter. I can tell you that we as coaches never had that sense that the season was over. We always felt that we can play the game better, that we were capable of playing the game better. And uh, we just needed to play the game better. And we did. We ended up playing the game better. Out of nowhere, Sibley proceeded to win 11 of its final 12 games, storming through sectionals and then the state tournament, all the way to the 3A state title. They finished the season 15 and 15, setting the record for the most losses by a state champion in state history and learning the kind of lesson you can't help but carry with you going forward. The obvious story is never give up. We were not a good team going into the tournament. I mean, look what happened. Cinderella story. A lesson their coach hopes they'll carry with them beyond baseball into life. Sports do teach you a lot about life. And, you know, you get knocked down and the idea is you're going to get back up. So if Sibley starts out 4 and 14 again this year, Look out, they've got the rest of the state right where they want them. <laughs> As a coach, I'd rather go the conventional route if we could this year. <laughs> David McCoy, WCCO for Sports. Go ahead right away, Tommy leading off. Good stuff.